Hey, good morning and welcome back to Central Ontario. It's a really nice day today. It's warm again, uh, but we've got a bit of a chance of rain, so uh, we'll see how things go today. But uh, I've had to do a lot of reading the last few days. <laughs> I wanted to thank all the folks who have uh, grading experience that provided me some advice and suggestions. I got a lot of them. A lot of great ideas and a lot of different ways of doing the same type of task, I guess, based on your own skill. So uh, I've read through them a couple of times, actually, and some folks have suggested some other videos or other channels to watch, which I've watched. And uh, I've figured out a solution that I think fits my skill level and that I feel comfortable that I, I should be okay doing. So if you have some time, grab a coffee, put your feet up, and uh, stick around with me, and let's get this driveway done, finally. Cheers. So I'm very excited. I got some great advice and suggestions from my subscribers and from folks. Thank you so much. Uh, and hopefully we're going to be able to get this thing done today, get the gravel dropped, call it a day, and finish that driveway once and for all so I can start using it. Um, a lot of great suggestions and advice. I thought what was really interesting was that uh, there are so many different ways that people try to do the same tasks. And I guess, you know, probably depends on two things. One, the type of implements or the tools that you have to do the job as well as your history and your own experience. So, so given my own experience or lack of experience, I went through all the suggestions and advice. I could see myself doing it different ways, maybe when I get a little better with the tractor, but I've figured out a plan A, which I think suits my, my skill level, as well as gives me some confidence that I think I should be able to do it okay. Because I've uh, taken a look through and I've actually pieced together little pieces from different suggestions or advice. So why don't you stick with me? I'm gonna walk you through my plan A and don't worry, if plan, <laughs> if plan A doesn't work, there's a plan B. All right, let's take a look. So part one, when I bucket this pile, I'm gonna make sure that I kind of back blade the top of it to break it up a little bit. You'll remember on my last video when I started grading it with the box blade and I put a little crusher on, when I was digging into the pile and I was trying to feather it, it clumps were coming out. And one of the suggestions I had was to make sure I take the blade back blade it a bit down so that it breaks up any clumps that are there because it's been sitting here for a couple of months. Second thing is I'm only going to take about a half a bucket to three quarters of a bucket at a time and I'll explain why I'm going to do that when I show you the next step. So once I've got my bucket full uh, I'm going to make sure it's only half to three quarters full because as you know when you've got a full bucket or a full load on the front you're always supposed to drop it down as close to the ground as you can when you're carrying it. And one of the troubles I had the last time is I had it down at the ground, but the problem was when I was feathering out or drizzling out the crusher stone, I couldn't see it. So because I'm only going to take about half to three quarters of a bucket, I should more safely be able to lift it up at least above the roof line of the hood. And that way when I turn it, I'll actually be able to see how it's drizzling out to make sure it's coming out as you know consistently as possible. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to drizzle it while I drive forward. And then when I get to the end, what I'll do is I'll take the blade I'm going to drop it this time, but instead of back dragging with the back of the bucket like I did before, I'm going to take some other good advice from several people and I'm going to turn it slightly so that I'm using the blade or the front of the blade of the bucket and I'm going to put it in float and drag it back. And then I'm just going to keep doing that nice and slow as people have suggested. I'm not going too fast. I'm just going to take my time, drizzle it out. Then I'm going to fan it back, go grab another bucket, drizzle it out, fan it back. And I'm going to do that until I get the first layer on. And, and I think as people have made pretty clear, you can't uh, eat an elephant all in one bite and you can't conquer the world in a day. So you've just got to take your time, small amounts, drizzle little bits at a time until you start to build the base. And the last thing I'm going to do, then I'm going to use water. So I've got the hose out because I got another good suggestion from uh, someone who does landscaping or works with somebody with landscaping. And they said when they're laying crusher or they're laying stone, between each layer, they take a little bit of water and they just drizzle the water over the top. And I think that's for two reasons. One, it keeps the dust down. And as you probably noticed in the last video or two, plus I was just cutting the lawn and it is so dry here because we've had such a humid spell that you're kicking up sand and you're kicking up dust even cutting the lawn. So this will help to keep the dust down. And as well, I think it helps the dust or the crusher dust to compact better because it'll be a little bit wet. So I won't put a lot of water. I just want to sprinkle it after I've done each layer. And at the end of the video, we should be finished that driveway with a nice consistent two to three inches of crusher. And if it doesn't work, I've got plan B. But uh, stick around, let's see if we can get this done. Cheers.
well. I'm not sure if you can see it, but uh, drizzling is definitely a bit of a skill as well. I'm starting to get it a few times, but sometimes I get dumps and uh, clumps. But it's a little uneven, but it's drizzling. So I'm just going to keep going over it slowly, one uh, after another, and I'll see if I can fill it in over time, and we'll see how it works. Just coming along a little bit. I, uh, I'm happy with some of the drizzles, uh, but like I said with the crusher, it's not like just straight gravel, which you know should in theory just consistently fall out the front. This stuff does clump a bit, but I got a couple of good drizzles going. But I can see that I've got you know some reasonably thick, uh, well-packed stuff, and then I've got areas where I guess I didn't drizzle enough. So I'm going to go back over and start filling in those areas and try to drizzle specifically, try to get it to the same level. And I'm going to keep at it, and then I'll come back to you. Cheers. Okay, well, I think that went really well. I'm, I'm pretty proud of it, i got to be honest. I, uh, it was a big learning experience, I'll tell you. But I, uh, and I probably could have done better, and I've got uh, two to three inches in some spots, but I can tell, like, for example, by the propane tanks, I need to put a little more there because I probably smoothed it out too much. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the, the rains come in the next couple of weeks, see how it settles and how it packs. And I've still got about half a pile left. Uh, because I've got to do the side of the house, the driveway on the side of the house next. That'll be the next part of the driveway I do. Because I'm trying to take it in little pieces. Because uh, obviously, especially when you're learning, you don't want to bite off more than you can chew. So you take little, you know, small projects that you can slowly learn and do. Um, I think feathering it out of the bucket is the best way, at least for myself as a, as a newbie. Because, uh, as you know, in the last video, I graded the driveway, the back driveway. And as you knew, we had those big potholes where the stump were and it was all uneven ground. And the box blade did a great job of pulling all that out, digging it up, and leveling it. But remember, I needed to keep the grade to go away from the house and into the forest. And I think by feathering the aggregate out of the bucket, it allows you to drop it more or less evenly. I mean, I, I could do a better job, and I think I'll get better at it. But it allows you to keep the grade, because if I had dropped big piles and then tried to spread them back, I probably would have started building up the driveway. And I didn't want to level the driveway. I just wanted it to be level in reference to the grade, which is what I've got. And it came out really nice. Um, just for those last few bits, and I apologize, I had a little camera trouble there, but what I did after I feathered is I would put it in float and back drag with the edge of the bucket in float. And then after I dumped a lot of feathering and I went back and forth dropping more aggregate and then I'd float it back, drop more aggregate and then I'd put the bucket and float back. Then what I did when I had it nice and thick is that's when I took the bucket and I didn't put it in float. I brought it down and just put a little pressure and then allowed it drag with pressure. And that helped it to start smoothing out the high spots because there were high spots as you might be able to tell in the video if you look back at it. You can see where the aggregate had high spots and then there were parts where I didn't feather enough in. And what the 
uh, putting the bucket with a little bit of pressure allowed is it allowed me to drag and fill in those spots. And then uh, as you can see, and as you can probably see above me, it turned out really good. Folks, you guys are awesome. Uh, I really appreciate all the people that took the time to send out uh, advice and suggestions and give me some tips on how to do this. It's my first time I've actually, you know, completed it. And after all these years, I could finally use this back driveway. And I don't have to try to deke out the stump in the boulder. And it's all nice and smooth. So uh, I appreciate you sticking around. I hope it was uh, helpful or entertaining or, you know, informative. Uh, if you folks like the channel, click subscribe, hit the like button, and if you want to know when I'm posting videos, click that little bell. But uh, big thanks to my subscribers again. I uh, really appreciate you coming to the rescue. You guys, you guys are awesome. Take care, have a great week, and I'll see you again. Cheers.